Hi, my name is Adam. Ask and it shall be given you. I would like to share with you amazing true stories encouraging and motivating not to be satisfied in the little, but to desire, request and pursue great things. Alexander the Great was probably one of the most prominent figures in human history. He was not only the great warrior we probably all are aware of, but he was also a generous king. From time to time he used to organize a day in which all his subjects could come to him with their requests. We could call it uh, the days of the grace of the king. People came with various requests, for instance for food, clothing, piece of land for farming, whatever they desired, and king, after having heard the request, gave order to his responsible servant to fulfill the request or not. During one of such days, many people came as usual with their requests, but finally a man came who presented very unusual request. I want a palace! And in this palace I want a feast for all of my friends. King's servant was astonished and tried to persuade the man to change the request. He was really afraid that for such a daring request, if he goes to the king to present it, his head could uh, be chopped off. And try to persuade the man, change the request, your request is too daring. But the man said, this is the day of the grace of the king. This is my request, I want a palace, and in this palace I want a feast for all of my friends. King uh, became impatient, uh, usually things uh, went very smooth, the man came to the servant, uh, presented the request, servant came to king, presented the request and king granted uh, the decision. But now there was kind of an argument between the man coming and uh, the servant of the king. King asked the servant what was the request of this man, he felt that something unusual was happening. Then. The servant couldn't uh, do anything else, uh, he had to confess. The request of this man is he wants a palace. And not only of this, uh, in this palace he wants a feast for all his friends. Uh, I tried to persuade him to change the request, but he didn't agree. King was astonished, but after a moment's thought he said, This request would be granted. Now, king's servant was astonished and asked, My king, why did you decide to grant this unusual request? All the people that came before asked for simple usual things, uh, said the king. Just anybody could give them what they requested. Then the king said, Only that one man asked something that exclusively I as a king could give him. Only that one man made me feel as a real king. Let's think differently about things we ask and we pray for after hearing this story. Let's dare unusual requests and unusual prayers. Let our prayers make God feel like a real king of the universe. He in fact is. Only he can give us, uh, grant us some requests we desire in the depth of our hearts. Solomon uh, had a very interesting encounter with God. It's described in the Bible in First Kings, uh, um, first book of Kings. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God asked, "Ask what I shall give thee." He had a free hand from God. He could request whatever. What was the interest of Solomon? Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad, have said Solomon, for who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. It was very pleasing to God this unusual request, give me wisdom that I may be a good judge for thy people. And this was not a request to boast uh, himself. Uh, Solomon was not interested to show off his wisdom to anybody to praise him. He was interested to be a good servant and good judge of the God's people. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked the riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself, self-understanding to judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. 
Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any rise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. If we ask things that please God, we get bonus, something we didn't request in the first place, but God will grant us as a bonus. In Psalm number two, we have uh, an amazing text. Ask of me, says the Lord, and I shall give thee the hidden for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. This text is addressed in the primary place to Christ, but in the secondary place it's also addressed to believers in Christ for us. Ask of me and I shall give thee. God is capable of granting us our unusual big requests, obviously they are some conditions of answered prayer, but this is the subject for a separate study. For today, I would like to motivate you to their unusual requests. Ask and it shall be given you. May God bless abundantly your life and your requests and your thinking. Amen.